Welcome to Volunteer Disc Golf. This is my 2022 in the bag, and I have an Atlas Pioneer version 2 right here. Uh, I got it as soon as it uh, it came out, so I have no idea when I bought it, but um, I guess we'll start with my putting players. I have two rubber band Lunas right here. I use them from any distance. I don't have like long range or short range putters. I just use them for all. I just change my putting style a little bit when I putt for longer distance. Uh, my throwing putters, um, my main throwing putter is a uh, Big Z Luna. I use it for, it's pretty understable, so I'll, I'll do hyzer flips, but if I, if I take some of the spin off, it'll hold the angle on it. Uh, it's a really good disc. Um, and I have two zones. I have a crystal flex and the jawbreaker zone. This one is a little less stable. Uh, I use it for more touch forehands, or if I really want to rip on something on a hyzer, I'll use it for forehands. Um, and then my crystal flex zone, it's, a, it's more stable, like I said, so I'll use it for more forehand like spike hyzers or uh, backhand spike hyzers. It's more for that because it's super stable. It won't really hold a line. And then my mid ranges. Um, my first mid range is a utility disc. It's a Justice uh, Vets for Vets. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I got it at that tournament. It's it's really good. I don't use it that much, but um, forehands are super windy conditions. It's good for. It's not su It's like the Crystal Flex Zone. It's not super good for holding lines, so it's more utility disc. Um, and I have a I have a Buzz. Uh, a Z buzz. It's pretty understable. It's pretty worn, so I'll use it for annies or more straight to turn shots. Um, it's not really good for for straight shots, like going super straight and dumping left, because it, it'll go to the right most of the time. Uh, and I have a hex, which is very similar to the buzz. It's MVP Axiom, um, but it, it goes a little further and it dumps left more. It's not as worn. I don't throw it as much as the buzz. Uh, and then I have fairways. I have quite a few, so I'll just grab a few at a time. Um, I have a I have a Cax Z, which is is similar to a Cax, but I think it's a little more understable. So if I throw it straight, it'll have some turn to it, or some hyzer, it'll it'll stay on the line pretty good and just dump left. Uh, it's a pretty good disc. It's glow plastic, so it's a little more stable than I think it's like normal plastic or whatever. But yep, good disc. Um, and then I have a Crave. I throw this thing all the time, every time I can. Uh, I throw it sh flat and straight and it'll just go left or sometimes if I put enough power into it, it'll do a little hyzer flip up and then dump left. It's a really good disc. I use it for spike hyzer sometimes too if I need to. Like I said, I throw it all the time, so whatever line I can put it on. And then I have a Mendis Alpha here. It's uh, I think it's an eight speed, so it, it's pretty stable. If I want it to fly similar to the Crave even though they're different speeds I throw them pretty similarly except it'll go left more so that's what I use it for just straight to left or spike hyzer shots and then I have some rivers here I have two of the same I like having two of the same discs so I have different st stabilities or if I lose one it'll um, not affect me too much so these two I use if I put them flat, they'll turn right and then come back. I think this one's a little more understable at this point. It's newer, but I don't know. It's a little dumbier, so that might have part of it. But um, yeah, they're really good discs. They'll hold a hyzer and they'll they'll flip and come back if I need them to. So good disc. I can get them pretty far with little effort. So I like that part about them. Um, and then I have two sapphires. I dyed this one myself, actually. It's pretty cool. It's newer of the two. It's definitely more stable. Um, I can throw them sh flat, and they'll kind of go to the right, or any shots or hyzers. They're, they're, they fly similar to like a longer river for me, so I really like them. They're a little faster. They feel good in my hands. Um, yeah, sapphires. And then I have a few more here. Uh, these are my more overstable fairways and utility. So I have a, a Onyx here. Um, I use it for either spike hyzers or straight to hyzer shots. It flies pretty far for me, so I don't pull out of the bag a ton because I, I most of the time throw anties or flat. But it's a good it's a good stable disc. And then I have a Omen and a Machete, which are utility discs for me, either forehand rollers or 
super windy conditions or something or if I need to go way far left or right. I don't pull these out of the bag much, but when I do, they definitely work for me good. And then moving on to distance drivers, I have um, a Surge and a Surge SS, which they fly, they fly pretty similar for me, but this one's a little more glidey, so I'll use it for glidey hyzer shots if I need, or this one's a little more uh, understable, so it'll, I'll throw it straight and turn a little bit and go left, so it'll go a little further than this one for me. So those are my Surges, and I have two traces, which these are probably my most thrown discs. Um, I have, this one's the older of the two, so this one will go a little far, a little more right for me if I throw it flat, versus this one, it'll kind of hold straight and then dump left to like 280, 290. Um, I really like these discs. I pull them out just as much as my Crave, as much as I can. Um, yeah, I can get these probably like 300, 310 range average consistently. And then I have um, MVP Photon, which I don't pull out of the bag a whole lot, but it's it's pretty stable because it's in the Cosmic Neutron plastic, so it it means it's a little more stable than just the normal plastic. Um, it's a really good disc. It's an 11 speed, so it goes pretty far. Uh, I, I'd probably say 300, 310 range too. Depends on the wind. If it's a headwind, it'll probably go a little further just because it'll it'll flip more. And then my last disc in my bag is a. 2022 Tour Series Thrasher, which I really like. It's my furthest flying disc in my bag, and definitely, it's not the most consistent disc, it's so understable, but um, it's definitely a good disc. It goes pretty far. I throw it 330, 340 range. Not average, but that's like my furthest. Average, probably 320. Um, it's a really good disc. It looks really cool. Um, yeah, 2022 Tour Series Thrasher. And then just the bag, it's a pretty good bag. It kind of sags here a little bit, so I have some cardboard in there just to try to make it not sag. I have a couple towels for when it gets rainy. I have a mini, a high hazards mini, shout out, my sponsor. Um, and then yeah, that's pretty much it for my in the bag. Um, I really like this bag so far, it's, it goes to good for me. I'm trying to keep it the same so I can get better with the discs that I have. Um, it's definitely a good bag. I've had it for a little bit now. Played it quite a few rounds in it. It's pretty good. Held up to the weather. So yeah, 22 and 2 Tour Series in the back. Nope, just cut it. Right there. Done. Like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.